Okay, I'm going to show you an attempted screen replacement on a Panasonic Toughbook CF-W5. Now I say attempted because it turns out, you'll see later in the video, I don't have the right screen. But I can still show you as if we did have the right screen. Now take a look at the screen here and you'll see that it's cracked. There's nothing we could do about repairing that other than replacing the screen. And there you see it with the backlight on and the graphics showing. Now we're going to try to figure out how to get the screen apart by looking at where there could possibly be screws holding it in. And we see one obvious spot towards the bottom on the side of the screen. There's another along the top. Here's another along the top. Now these were hidden under rubber pieces, I believe. So whenever you see the rubber protective, you know, dots or nubs, whatever you want to call them, on these LCD screens, usually there's screws under them that are holding the plastic cover on. So after removing those nubs carefully, you'll see the screws that you have to take off. Now we'll see if the screen will come apart for us. And these Panasonic Toughbooks seem like they're pretty tough. They have, they don't come apart that easy. So, I did discover a little trap door. I guess you could call it there. It's all, it's covering two screws, and we'll take these out and see if that helps us in our quest here to get the screen cover off. Okay, by removing those two screws, let's see if that, okay, now we're now we're getting somewhere. We have more of the screen exposed here. And actually the wireless card is built in the top of the screen. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're able to see how a little bit more how the screen can come apart. It is fastened in just with some plastic, um, some plastic hinges there in the inside. You know, see if you get your finger or something plastic in there around the edge to help you take it off. Now I fast forwarded a little bit and you can see it's almost apart, but it feels like we're going to have to force it to get it off. So if you, anytime it feels like you have to force something, look for the screw that you need to take off, which is causing you to have to force it. And that screw is actually going to help us get the screen cover off. There's two screws towards the bottom of the screen on the sides. And once they come out, it gives us much more access to the screen cover, and we'll be able to take it off. Okay, and we're going to jiggle it a little bit and see if we get the screen off. And there goes the back cover. The back cover has some wires attached to it, so we can't quite yank it off, but... We see that it's there. Now, this screen is mounted kind of funny. We have full access to the back of the screen here. Now you're going to see me putting the screen, the replacement screen, back in the box. I actually bought the wrong screen for this computer, which also is saying something. If you want to get a screen for a CFW5, don't just go look for a screen for a CFW5. you got to type exact model numbers in to uh, get that screen. And unfortunately, getting that screen from Panasonic is like $700. I couldn't find a good one on eBay. So I ended up having to give this, and to make a long story short, I ended up having to give this back to the customer. I couldn't replace the screen, not for an affordable price anyway.
But looking at the screen here, we're able to remove the screen now. There's, it's, the screen is just held in by the side rails, which are those screws along the side rail. We're not going to take the screen out, but we're going to put everything back together. Okay, so we're going to put it together pretty much the same way we took it apart. I'm going to fast forward this. And then you'll see that that was a, an attempt to get a screen replaced on a tough book. And lesson learned, I guess, in this video, guys, is check model numbers exactly. It's a good idea if you need to replace a screen to take the screen out first. Check the model number, order that model number, rather than just ordering a screen for a CF-W5 Panasonic Toughbook or whatever model computer you're using. Because different models use different types of screens and you want to be sure you get the right one and now I'm stuck with this screen and I have to ship it back. So, there you have it.